Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at a game called Trojan. This is another upload of an older video I made. Uh, this is created by Capcom in 1986, and it also has the Romstar uh, logo on the marquee and the cabinet. It's a Romstar cabinet, but Capcom made the game. But this is a notoriously hard uh, hack and slash game. You uh, have this guy in, I guess, a post-apocalyptic type of world with a sword and a shield, and you can uh, block your enemy's projectiles by using the shield button, <clears throat> like right there. And uh, certain attacks will knock it off, and you'll have to go back and get it. It'll knock off both the sword and the shield. And there will be areas at, at some junctures where you can jump real high by pushing up on the jump sections. That's how you jump is by pushing up. But uh, yeah, this game was just BS hard. It had an NES port, um, which was pretty good, I thought. Um, this is the second area, and this can be a pain in the butt. There's guys that shoot at you with crossbows. There's guys that uh, that fly in little little uh, copter type vehicles. We'll get started. What really, really, really sucks about this game is that the simple fodder enemies take off two blocks of your life bar with each hit. Two blocks, <laughs> and you only have a total of eight blocks. That's that's bullshit. I'm sorry. Once in a while, uh, a guy will come out of that manhole and take a shot at you with his crossbow. And here is the first boss character, and it's these two guys with axes. And they're pretty easy. They can't swing fast enough to aim an axe at you. But... Uh, the, those that mini boss is, is halfway through the level and he took a shot at me to kill those fodder enemies just do a quick duck attack and keep moving if you if you uh, take too long they'll get you and those that dynamite will will hurt big time once in a great while a flying heart will appear and that'll refill all your energy now we face the boss here He's got a little iron claw. You can block the claw by pressing down to squat and then hold the shield button. Just try to get some jumping slash attacks in on him. Now we go to level two, the craggy cliff. And here's where those annoying uh, helicopter type guys can be. And yeah, you can use the, the jump sensor to... Uh, to get the guys in the air. And here's the halfway boss. He's an armadillo type guy, and he can be. He can take a little while to get used to. You can jump over him when he's rolling, and then once you hit him when he after he stands back up, he'll uh he'll roll again. <sighs> Damn it, I'm trying not to touch him. He likes to stand back up from the middle, or from the far left, or far right, it seems. And don't stand close to him when he blows up. An explosion of any kind can really hurt you. And now we'll see those helicopter guys. If you if you try to waste your time, crap, if you waste your time, time trying to take out a bunch of them, they'll just keep coming back, so it's good to just press on. And the explosions from their bombs really hurt, so don't get close to them. Um, just hold up, hold up on your uh, on your with your shield to block their attacks from above, and just keep pressing forward. Now we face the first boss of this level, and he's <laughs> he killed me right away. He's a pain in the butt. He throws these stars and jumps around like crazy. A good idea is to like 
jump a few times as you face him, just, you know, in anticipation of him throwing stars. There we go. But yeah, he really is a pain in the butt. Now we go to level three. Now this part, you just go from one end of the screen to the other, and there'll be bosses or uh, enemies you've faced before, except for the spiders, those are new. Just jump and slash and hopefully you'll knock them out before they have a chance to come down and, and touch you. Fortunately, they only take one bar off your life. Yeah, and those, those uh, guys that throw knives take one extra hit. Be prepared <laughs> to hit an enemy again, even as you're going down, they can tilt, still hit you. I didn't deal with this guy particularly well. The way you want to deal with him is a jump forward, slash, and then jump backwards. His uh, his mace will will kill you if you <laughs> if you give him the opportunity. I'll fortunately when you die, if you have a life left, you'll start over halfway to the boss or or pretty close to him. And again, they can hit you on your way down, so be careful. You can block his low attacks. Now, one slash on him takes off two blocks of his life bar, so I had just enough. Now you continue to the other half of this level, and it's more of the same, really. Oops. Now you can continue, I think maybe from halfway through a level, but I'm not gonna. I'll show you the rest of the game a little bit later. I'm gonna put in my initials. You put in your whole name. That's Trojan by Capcom in 1986, the very, very, very hard game. But let me show you what the proper way to beat that guy. We'll get down to him in just a moment. Yeah, again, just do a quick duck and slash on those guys, on those fodder guys. It's the best way to take care of them. Yeah, jump forward, slash, and back off. But give yourself enough room to be able to jump backwards when he starts swinging his mace, like there. And that's the right way to beat him. I'll show you the rest of the game. Well, there's the final boss, and he's... I've got invincibility on. He's super hard. I don't really know how to beat him, but... His name is Trojan, so he's like the evil part of you, or the evil side of you, I guess. Now we go to, what is this, level four? More uh, helicopter guys, terrific. Now here, you need to collect a sign that says open before you can uh, jump up to the next floor. And then you go onto the jump pad and press up. Still got invincibility. I just used invincibility through the rest of the game just to quickly beat it and show you the rest of it. Now we got this claw guy as a as a, a boss here. He's not even the halfway boss, I don't think. No, you just drop off and keep looking for the open sign. Is that guy gonna come out of the manhole? Nope. And go to the jump sensor and press up. Now we got the Axe Brothers. These guys are always super easy. And to go down, we need to collect an open sign. There, I opened it up. Those little sensors will blow up and hurt the hell out of you if you don't have invincibility. Screw you guys. And 
uh, this boss is kind of the armadillo boss is kind of guarding the open sign and again once you kill him he blows up and that explosion will hurt the hell out of you if you're standing close this is one of those wonderful games where <laughs> Uh, you can you could die real quick if you're not careful. I mean seriously. <clears throat> this is a stupid jumping guy again. I hate this guy. He's called Goblin. Now we've got another area that's like uh, the one we saw before for level three, and it's really the same. And there's the halfway boss is two of those club guys and then the final boss is a claw guy the claw guy again <clears throat> now we're gonna look at the last level I think this was the last level <laughs> interesting how they disappear when you jump up there then when you jump off they appear again <clears throat> But the last boss is called Achilles. And just before the end, well, there's halfway boss uh, Trojan. <laughs> A kind of moon, moon knelt <laughs> and knelt down and slid backwards. Really no reason to jump up there. Oh, maybe there is. Stupid copter guys. And there's the life replenishing heart again. Yeah. It's really kind of tough to jump across this. Your timing has to be good or else you'll just drop right the hell off and lose a life. There we go. And here's Achilles. <laughs> yeah, still invincible. You can suck it. <laughs> but yeah, I think he takes like four <clears throat> four bars off of your uh, life meter with each swipe of his sword. But that was Trojan by Capcom in 1986. Really, really friggin' hard game. After you beat it, then you start all the levels over. But that was Trojan by Capcom in 1986. Incredibly hard game. And was seen in the U.S. Uh, mainly in uh, Romstar cabinets. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Trojan by Capcom in 1986. I'll see you later with another video. Bye, folks.